and welcome to spelling for this week. Let's have a look at the words. Word number one is especially. I was especially hungry after I missed dinner. Especially. Word number two is invitation. She received an invitation to the film festival. Invitation. A word number three is sandwich. My, what a tasty sandwich. Sandwich. Word number four is stomach. It hurts my stomach. Stomach. Word number five is harsh. Oh, that's a harsh thing to say. Harsh means hard, unyielding, a bit mean, harsh. Word number six is carpet. The carpet got dirt on it. Carpet. Word number nine is regard. Do you regard Iron Man 1 to be the best of the Iron Man films? I do. Regard. Word number 10 is largely. The spectacular failure of the Brazilian soccer team was largely due to their arrogant nature. Largely. Word number 11 is discard. Can you please discard of this rubbish? It means to put it in the bin. Get rid of it. Discard. Word number 12 is cardboard. There was a cardboard box on top of the shelf. Cardboard. Word number 13 is palm. There were lots of palm trees on the small tropical island. Palm. Word number 14 is parcel. She opened the parcel. Inside there was a dog. Hooray. Parcel. Word number 15 is article. He wrote a very interesting article for the newspaper. Article. It was about cats. Article. Word number 16 is afterwards. Uh, we went to the cinema. Then afterwards we got ice cream at McDonald's. It was horrible. Afterwards. Word number 17 is department. At the department store, there were lots of items available for purchase and department. Or oh, he works in the English department. Usually department means a separate sealed off section, department. All right, uh, word number 18 is guardian. Uh, who is the guardian of this child? I am, said her father. Guardian means the person who looks after you. Doesn't have to be your parents. Word number 19 is argue. He wanted to argue the point. He didn't agree with it. Argue. Word number 20 is argument. The boy and the girl had a great big argument. Argument. Word number 21 is draft. Oh dear, she left open the window and a draft came in. Draft. It means a rush of cold air. Draft. Word number 22 is laughter. The children's voices rang out with laughter. Laughter. Word number 23 is disaster. Oh dear. Actually, there has been a disaster today. A missile shot down an airplane. Disaster. A disaster. Word number 24 is harbour. The harbour bridge... Mm, that might be a different harbour. Oh no, that's fine. The Harbour Bridge is one of Australia's most famous icons. Harbour. Right, word number 25 is tomatoes. There are tasty tomatoes in the farm. Tomatoes, or at the farm. Tomatoes. Word number 26 is avocados. Mmm, I love avocados. Smeared on my sandwiches. Avocados. Word number 27 is barbecue. She invited her friends over for a good old-fashioned barbecue. Barbecue. 
Word number 28 is paragraph. I want you to rewrite this paragraph. There are no full stops. Put them in there. Paragraph. Word number 29 is marvellous. Oh, what a marvellous catch. Marvellous. Word number 30 is argumentative. Somebody who is argumentative likes to pick fights and arguments just for the sake of it. Argumentative. Word number 31 is balmy. Oh my goodness, what balmy webbing, sorry. Oh my goodness, what balmy weather we are having. It means warm, slightly moist, quite nice weather, balmy. Word number 32 is carnation. A carnation is a type of flower often worn to celebrate those who have died in the wars, to remember them, not celebrate, to remember those who have died in the war. Word number 33 is departmental. The departmental head of science in the junior school is Mr. Bachatsky. Departmental. The departmental head of history is Mr. Burns. Disheartened is word number 34. Disheartened. The Brazilian team was disheartened after each successive German goal. And they just got more disheartened and they just kept on letting in more goals. So they should have really started paying attention and become more heartened. Disheartened. Word number 35 is logorrhea. Someone who says excessive words or speaks too much has got logorrhea. A little bit like diarrhea, but not logorrhea. It's about words. Word number 36 is apostrophe. An apostrophe of possession should be at the end of this word. Brad's cat. There should be an apostrophe between the D and the S on Brad's because it's his cat. An apostrophe of possession. Word number 37 is martyr. If you are a martyr for a cause, that means you die for a cause. You die for something you believe in and people look to you as a sort of a hero. That hero is a martyr, someone who has died for something they believe in. Martyr. Word number 38 is gnome. In the garden there was a small, ugly gnome. Gnome. That's the spelling test. Thank you very much, Year 5. It is 2014. Uh, so if you're watching this test in any other time other than 2014, then that plane crash didn't make sense. Okay, thank you.